Hey you, what is up guys, it's your boy Twin here, this will be a video of uh, the new sneak peek now. Let's just get into it, cause there's not a lot to talk about, but there's a lot to theorize on. So one thing they're gonna add is a change to the 28 days attendance board. Now I've been asking about this for at least 4 months in one of my suggestions, so I'm glad this has been heard. So what they're basically gonna do, they are going to reset the 28 days and make it back to day 1. Now this is how they will address it for the people that say like, oh my god, but I'm almost at the end. So basically from Monday to Tuesday, you can get the rewards and after the maintenance, you can get yourself another reward, which is great. And based on the last 28 days board you have completed, rewards from plus 7 days will be sent to your mailbox after the maintenance. So it works like this, if this was the patch date, I get this one and then I get plus 7 days so I'll get the 10 special summons as well. Now it's another 7 days before the patch will actually hit so I should be getting myself a random unique weapon ticket at the end of everything. Now here's some speculation like there are a lot of things that I believe should be added into this roster. One of them is reforged tickets because that is something that you can never have enough of. The TP5s, especially for the newer players, getting these are very rare. Even if we have all these events that will give us these TP5s, it can never be enough. So hopefully they will add this to 3 or maybe even more. Another thing they could be adding is the mystical soul fragments. That stuff would be insanely nice. But if I had to pick, I would even go further beyond and I would put some king condoms in there. Another thing I will personally add is the Technomagic Experiment Reports because these are very rare and you can only get 40 every single month. So allowing yourself to have at least another 10, maybe 20 to get yourself the right items from the TM, this might be a good addition to put into that 28 days. Another thing we could possibly add are ethers because obviously, especially for the newer players, this is very hard to come by. So adding these to the roster might be a huge addition and if i talk greedy let's put some soulstone fragment tickets in there as well why not or if we don't get this how about getting ourselves a little bit of tablets so we can do trials a little bit more than usual but if i forgot anything put it down into the comments let me know what you guys think should be put into the attendance board but ladies and gentlemen this is not all what they're gonna add is extra difficulty to the Techno Magic Kingdom raids. Now what they're gonna add, instead of having a maximum of Galgoria 6, Siegfried 6 and Ocelon 6, you can get it up to stage 9. Now luckily for a lot of people, they will make everything a little less difficult. Now this is especially good for the newer players because trying yourself that Galgoria farm at the start to get yourself the gear might be very obnoxious if you don't know how to invest. However, with this addition it might be way way easier. And there's more to it, because now you can get yourself Techno Magic Gear upgrading stones after the update from stage 7. Now I am fairly uncertain if they're gonna drop the single stones for the class specifics or if you can get these stones on a ticket selector box. How good will the drop rate be? I have absolutely no clue, but hopefully they will be quite quite good. This way we can max out all of our gears. Last but not least, a lot of events with a lot of good things, which means, yay, soulstone ticket fragments, brilliant ethers, unique weapon, unique treasure tickets, and even spring chocolate, which you can get to your NPCs. And another part, roll the dice event, where you can get TP5s, unique treasure, unique gear tickets. Always good. Last but not least, we got ourselves more special hero dungeons. Which means both Hilda and Reheat and Repeat will be added to the memory archive and hopefully you will be able to play them straight away from the get go because at least Reheat and Repeat don't really intertwine within uh, any part of the story mode but we don't know for sure whether they are available at the start of the game. And for a little bonus. At the end of February, it will be another anniversary. Anniversary means a lot of freebies and hopefully a developer note on how they're going to address 2021 because right now they have added everything that they said they would except for more guild content. I'm very much looking forward to see anything that is happening within the guild content because right now just guild conquest, just guild battles. It's not enough. It is definitely not enough and I need something more. Let me know into the comments what you guys think. If I forgot anything, make sure to mention it as well. 
And if you haven't already, make sure to like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.